The major players in the international business sector still have some control over where they want the sector to go. Given the feature address in the morning session on day one of an international business conference, Minister of International Business and Industry Ronald Toppin told those gathered in the Lloyd Erskine Sanford Centre that they can chart their own paths. He said, however, they would have to take into consideration the many factors that impact on the decisions that are made. I believe the moment of truth has come for our sector. The time for us to reposition ourselves as safely as is possible and line up for the new set. The time has come for us to ask some tough questions and craft solutions based on our specific circumstances, our expertise, and our dreams. To do this, we should ponder on how we define Barbados as a global business and financial services center. Minister Toppin stressed if the sector is to move forward, those involved must ask themselves some serious questions. Is this how we want to be defined? If no, then what do we want to look like? How do we want to transform ourselves to become a newer version? How will we use technology to enable us to provide quality services to the rest of the world? How will we allow innovation to play a key role as an engine for growth in this transformation? How do we retain the skills of our highly trained citizens? At the center of this reflection, we must be very clear on the ideals that we as a sector and by extension a country want to pursue. The displacement of workers continues to be painful for government as its retrenchment exercise continues. This is according to Labour Minister Colin Jordan, who says they will soon be launching their retraining, enfranchising, retooling and empowering program. The program is meant to ensure that displaced workers can be equipped with more employable skills. And can offer their skills in providing services and products to government. One such project will be the digitization of government records. And we believe that this will lead to a more efficient and effective public service and will create a more conducive environment for persons wishing to conduct business in Barbados, whether those persons are local investors or foreign investors. Minister Jordan was speaking during the opening ceremony for the 20th Annual Human Resource Management Association of Barbados Conference at the Radisson Aquatica Resort last night. During the ceremony, two individuals were inducted as honorary members. The first person was Gail Springer and the other was president of the Barbados Association of Retired Persons, Ed Bushel. Mr. Jordan says there is a need for rethinking the way we conduct business and human resources. It's imperative that HR practitioners raise their credibility among senior management so it is acknowledged that they do more than support the organization's operations. They must be seen as critical to the organization achieving its goals. Most line managers are hesitant in the management of people and therefore rely heavily on HR managers to perform this role. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, Wasinko Group Limited Ordinary Shares was the volume leader with 5,337,000 134 units at $10.25 each and they were followed by JNMB Group Limited 7.50% and Kingston Wharves Limited. In Trinidad and Tobago, JMMB Group Limited was the volume leader with 100,000 shares changing hands for a value of $163,000 and they were followed by Sajikor Financial Corporation Limited and National Flower Mills Limited. Here in Barbados, Garden Enterprises Limited was the sole security, trading 6,000 shares at $3.75 each. <laughs> 